Okay guys, the Surefire Scout M600 dual fuel 1500 lumen long gun light emitting monster, right? What more can you say about this thing? It's a Surefire. Everybody knows that Surefires are bomb proof. They've been in war zones all over the world. They have served faithfully with many non-civilian people, but as you might have gathered from the name of this channel, this is the Civilian Armory. I am not ex-military, I am not current military, I am not ex or current law enforcement, I'm not a security contractor, I am a regular person. And that's what I want to tailor this channel to, is regular people, civilians, right? People who have to be their own defense budget right all of this stuff comes out of my own pocket you at least not up to this point no one has ever sent me anything to review all of the gear i review was purchased by me with my money if this ever grows into something uh this youtube thing if this ever grows into something where people start trying to send me stuff to review um i will happily just close that all of that said um it came out of my pocket. It was my money. This is the light that I stake my life on. This is the light attached to my home defense rifle, which is a, a uh, quote-unquote home brew rifle of my own making, but I chose each part meticulously. Every piece of this rifle is exactly the piece I wanted it to be, and this rifle has seen coming up on 5,000 rounds of ammunition fired through it. Most of that ammunition was fired in classes because I attend a class no less than every other month, some form of professional firearms training. And I also attend classes to get professional medical training, specifically trauma training, because I've devoted my life to guns and shooting and arms. I also have to devote a portion of my life to medical training as well. And you should too. If you own guns, shoot guns, like guns, think they're cool, you should also have some medical training. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about this light. This light is killer. 1500 lumens if you're running an 18650 battery, but as the name denotes, it is a dual fuel light. You can run two CR123 batteries in this light, or you can run a rechargeable 18650. Um, there are people on both sides of the fence. Some people don't like the idea of a rechargeable battery um, in a home defense rifle. I personally prefer it, but I mess with my guns enough that I never leave this rifle sitting long enough that, that a rechargeable battery could discharge and that I might, in a, in a home defense scenario, pick up a rifle that has a dead light on it. Um, and I have several batteries for this lamp. Um, I've, I've, I've got the Surefire charger for this. I have many Surefire 18650 batteries for this. Um, so that's not an issue for me. But if it's an issue for you, run a CR123 battery in it. Those have an incredibly long shelf life. It's like 10 years or something crazy. Preppers love CR123 batteries for that reason. So, getting on with the review of the light, this light is fantastic. It's been bomb-proof. This light has been on this gun for almost 1,400 rounds now. It's been through three carbine classes. It has performed flawlessly. And I came to own this light because my Streamlight um, Protac HLX rail mount went down in a rifle class. It went down on me. Oddly enough, another kid came over. He said, hey, man, is your light working? He had the same light as me. And I said, you know, I'm sure it is. And uh, sure enough, hit the tape switch, nothing. And uh, it had gotten hot. Those stream lights have kind of a, a known issue in the tail cap where um, when you're running CR123 batteries in there, they can have an issue that when they get hot, they will go down and just stop working. It's a non-issue on this on this Scout light as far as I know. I have had no problems, like I say, almost 1,400 rounds that I've put through this gun with this light on it. Um, 
it's been fantastic. And it's 1,500 lumens. I'm still in the all the lumens camp. I want all the lumens. I want as much candela as I can possibly have. The more light you can have in a situation where your life depends on it, the better you can receive information to your brain. Because you have more light, you see more, there is more information coming in, you will make better decisions, hopefully. I run the waterproof dual switch on the back of it. It did not come with this light. This piece I bought separately. It came with just the push button switch on the back. But I run the dual switch, so I still have the push button switch there on the side. And I'll turn this to where you can see it. I then run the 07 tape switch there, which also has a switch there and the momentary contact only tape switch. Can't tell you that I use the click switch very much at all because I don't. Um, you can see this light's super dirty. Um, see, I mean, you know I'm shooting it. I use, I just use the mount that came with it. Mounts right to a piece of pick rail. I put a piece of pick rail on my key mod handguard. Yeah, it's still key mod. I built this rifle uh, several years ago. I actually built this rifle before m -lock was really a thing. Um, and I just haven't felt the need to change out my handguard. Um, and I have, I have rifles in both configurations with key mod and with with uh, m -Lock. and I, I can't tell you that I, I have a problem with either configuration. It's a bomb-proof light. It has a smooth reflector and a very, a very nice lens there. Um, this lens cleans up from sooting very well with just a little bit of toothpaste. I find that with toothpaste and a, and a Q-tip, I can clean the lens up very well, and it's not a problem, despite the fact that you see the rest of the light is very sooted very dirty might even have burned a little bit of the finish there not sure don't care i don't mind my light being a little dirty um you see you see guys with clean rifles all the time makes me wonder um this has been a very solid mounting system the mount the mount that just came with it i don't have any special angled mounts or anything for mine um just the pick rail mount that comes with it is just a uh, big thumb screw here i actually do lock tight that thumb screw um, I've never had any problems with it coming off, but it's always been Loctite as well. So, uh, there it is. You'll see this light in my flashlight comparison video. I'm going to try to reshoot that video and get better, better nighttime footage of this in real low light. I just, I, I don't have a camera at the moment that picks up on the lights as well as you see them with your, your, your naked eye. It's not properly represented in the camera footage, but... I'll try to reshoot that. But in the meantime, though, this light has been bomb-proof. I have shot this a ton. Had